Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Um, today I have another beer from Dancing Gnome that my buddy was kind enough to uh, do a little quick swap for some uh, North Carolina beers for. Um, so this one is called Spaghetti Dinner. It says uh, ale with Moscato juice. Um, it's a collaboration between Dancing Gnome and Hop Culture. This is obviously like by far the... Uh, the most elaborate uh, label that these guys have had. It's not even doesn't even feel the same way. Generally, they just have the sticker around it. So I guess Hot Culture might have created this label. I don't know. Um, but it is that's right there. Eight point eight ABV. Um, it's not really uh, very appetizing because it's just like shitty spaghetti with hot dogs in it, which is weird. Um, but uh, I'm also a little sorry. I'm also a little weary about the uh, Moscato juice because I've had some Trillium IPAs that had different um, white grapes in them, and they were most of them were great. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it's this oh Dowd, the, it's the Dowd in series. Um, <clears throat> but Mus Moscato juice, I don't know. Just muscat grapes are just really sweet, so I'm kind of worried about this one, but we'll see. See, this one's a little more turbid even than their stuff generally is. I mean, it it almost looks like it has a green hue to it. Um, it's almost like a greenish, light brown color. Uh, it's about a one-finger head. The aroma's not bad, though. Um, I don't really get any of the uh, Moscato juice. I mean... It does smell like it might end up being a little sweeter than their stuff, but it's mainly like... <coughs> Sorry, my dog's barking in the background. He's crazy. Um, <coughs> it's mainly like candied oranges and a little bit of pineapple. Um, Sorry. And just, I mean, every single one of their beers just has this tiny note of dankness, because I think he, he finished... Or he bitters them with, uh, Colum most of them with Columbus. I, that's where that's coming from. But <clears throat> I don't know. The, the foretaste on this is very, very sweet. Um... I wouldn't necessarily say it's wine-like, but it's very sweet. It does have this, like, uh, peachy pear character to it, which I'm picking, I assume, is more from the wine than the, the hops. Um, but then, like, you get that sweetness from, which I'm assuming is from the wine, but... <clears throat> then it kind of flips everything. There's almost like a little vanilla character to it, too. And then it kind of flips everything, and then it just finishes really bitter in the back of your tongue, which I don't appreciate. Like, it's kind of just like, there's there's no balance in it. It's really sweet and then really bitter, and basically in what I want in this kind of beer is something in the middle all the way through. Um, but it's still really juicy, like most of their stuff is. Uh... I would say it's more on, definitely more on the juicy, like, Citra Galaxy side. It's not as dank as some of their other stuff, but I think the uh, Moscato juice, sorry, my thing's all effed up. I gotta get a new stand. Um, yeah, it's, honestly, it smells, it smells a lot better than it tastes. It's 
a little bit like orange drink up front, but then it follows with this like really bitter aftertaste. Um, like I said, I'm getting a little vanilla in there. Like it's almost a little bit oranges and cream, which I generally like that flavor, but not with this lingering bitterness. Um, so to me, it's not it's not a bad beer. Uh, but I just don't understand the point of putting in the mus the Moscato juice because I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, adding anything to it, and if anything, it's detracting from it, which is disappointing. Um, so I I would put this in the drink category. I would not buy this again. I didn't buy it. I just swapped for it. But and I'm guessing because this is a collab with them and it's bigger than alcohol, this is probably even more expensive than. A couple of the other ones. I bet this was like twenty bucks a four pack. I know it was, there's no way it was less than eighteen. Um, but it's not. There's just so many better things out there, and not just from other breweries. They do so many better things that like just spend your money on their other beers. Because I know there's crazy assholes that buy every single freaking can release they do, which I don't under, even understand how you can drink that much or trade that much, but. Hey, good for them that they're making the profit that they are. That's awesome because they, they do make good beer. But if you're a normal consumer, um, and I don't think they're ever going to do this one any, again anyway. So I, w I guess it really, what I say about it really doesn't matter if you don't have direct access to it. But I, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this. Um, but they've done some things that I thought they weren't going to do it again. They made it sound like it was a one-off and then they did them again. So who knows? Uh yeah, I would say this is definitely a drink. I, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, it's just a little too... It's just not in my wheelhouse. It's just, like, really sweet and really bitter. But it's still juicy all the way through. So, I mean, it's flavorful. But just it's just rough around the edges all the way through the, the drink. Um, and they just make too many other good beers for me to buy this one. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on this guy. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.